Welcome to a family art workshop presented by Wheaton Arts. In this video, we will be creating a macrame keychain using the spiral knot. The required materials are macrame cord, a keychain ring, a wooden bead, scissors, a tape measure, and command strips and hook. Prepare the work area by attaching a damage-free hanging command strip and hook to the working surface. Place the keychain on the hook. Cut two lengths of macrame cord. Each should be 36 inches long. Attach both of the cords to the keychain ring by using a lark's head knot. You can do this knot by folding the cord in half, wrapping the folded end of the cord around the ring and pulling the ends of the cord through the loop of the folded end. Make sure to pull to tighten. Once your cords are attached to your ring, you will then begin knotting. Begin with your first spiral knot. A spiral knot is made by taking the outer left cord and crossing it over the two middle cords, then taking the outer right cord and placing it over the end of the left cord and under the two middle cords and looping it through the hole on the left side. Gently pull each of the two ends to tighten the knot. The knot should be at the very top of the two middle cords. If needed, gently pull on your middle cord to secure the knots. Continue tying spiral knots until there are only two inches of cord remaining. Make sure you always put the left cord on top first. This will make the knots spiral. As your macrame twists, you can lift your keychain off of the hook and move it to orient the spiral. When there are a few inches remaining, finish the design by tying a wrap knot. Fold one of the middle cords in half to create a loop. Use the other longer cord to wrap around three of the other cords. Wrap this about four or five times. Then thread the wrapping cord through the loop and pull each of the ends to tighten. Use scissors to trim the cord that is vertically sticking up through the wrap. Trim the bottom cords to make them even. To add a wooden bead, wrap some tape around one of the bottom cords. Then secure your wooden bead with a couple knots. If needed, trim your ends again. And then use a comb to fray the ends. 